morning on the homestead friends <laughs> and uh, we're we're just having you come along for uh, daily life off the grid uh, so this morning I'm getting the firewood out, out last night and that's okay so I was just uh, getting um, actually I was cutting up a couple pieces of kindling I got low on kindling the other day so um, I had to bring some in from outside and so I just sit here in the morning and I uh, got my my handy axe see how easy that is <laughs> and then it goes and we keep a big roll we have a big roll of paper here that helps us start the fire and I really I really like having that I'll put a bigger piece in here for now and then we'll get the big kahuna stuff on there usually if the temperatures are warm I won't stock uh, you know uh, stock this up uh, too much during the night you know I'll shut it down but the temperatures have been pr pretty pretty warm so I went outside and got myself uh, we have plenty of water in the in the winter time so water is not an issue but uh, I like to keep water on the stove so I get a little bit of snow in there and and I don't know if you can see this let me turn on a light maybe this will help can you see that uh, to do dishes because we don't have wa warm water in the sink I will get my dirty dishes and put it on the stove so I have some warm water to do my dishes with and then I can transfer it right over here and I can do my dishes in the morning but it is an overcast day today uh, because of the warm temps so last night for the chickens I cooked up some barley and I'll mix that with their their dry grain hi honey I don't know if you like barley I know you want some breakfast uh, we'll bring that out there to them but the barley also I buy in bulk and he already wants to go out there and it's really cheap you know if you, you want to save on chicken food did I do a video on, on how to save on chicken food I think I uploaded it and I never posted it to YouTube I got to do that um, come on brothers there are cheap ways to feed your chickens oh Mario oh, Mario wants to go out sorry about the camera come on honey there you go ah uh, cat probably doesn't want to go out there are cheap ways to feed your chickens and I tell you what if you're in a budget and you, and you, you want to save money and you're, th you're thinking oh I don't know if I could feed the chickens uh, they're out, out of budget for me you don't have to worry about it you just go and you start buying stuff in bulk you buy human bulk food like rice and barley and oats much much cheaper than chicken food now look at these look at them they're afraid to come out of the coop you guys are afraid to come out of the coop hi oh this is like, oh yeah, you guys are hungry. You guys are hungry. Yeah, look at the, look at that. Aww. Oh, okay, now you're making a mess. Okay, now you made a mess. Well, I'm not too sure about that. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you guys did come out of the coop. Now, now they made a mess. It's funny because I leave this door open for them because I thought, well, you know, maybe they'd want to free range a little bit. And, um... And look at this, they've been making a mess of this. So for some unknown reason, this is full of water. This isn't leaking, but I don't know. This area is getting full of water, and I don't like it because I don't like them. Um, oh, here I'll push this. I don't like them walking around in water. That's why I have this here, so they get a nice dry area. But the temperatures are so warm. There we go. Oh, look at this dog. There he goes again. The temperatures are warm. It's kind of one of those icky times in the in the winter. We'll go from getting uh, 
slammed with snow. There we go. And then we get ice. That's better. See, that's not that bad. Oh, I have to fix this. Oh, I gotta put the camera down and fix this. What are you doing? There we go, I fixed it. There is a quick fix. I mean, it looks like a mess, but you know what, my friends? I've said this before. The roof is staying. So they're looking good this morning. And uh, there's my my little bit of smoke coming out from the from the chimney. So first chores of the day, right there. And the the deer have not been in. I'm I was surprised that they didn't come in. So okay, so here's our water issue. I'm going to share this with you. You hear the water coming out of the out of the overflow? Okay, that's great. But just last week, uh, Mr. Hilder came out here to the garden area, and the garden was flooded. Yeah, it was flooded. So, um, something happened underneath here. He wasn't quite sure. And, uh, and in fact, is this on or off? He told me to test it like this. If nothing comes out, that means the spigot's off underneath there. Okay, it's off. Um, you have to come out here now to turn on the water. And then you have to run inside to turn on the pressure tank to get the water going again. Uh, something is wrong with our line, and because it's buried, he's not exactly sure what happened. But the one day he lost pressure, he um, the wa the garden was flooded, and uh, so let me go over here and see. Ya. Yesterday, the the water pressure was not good at all. Um, it's okay right now. And in fact, I probably should turn on the pump. Okay, so this is a dilemma here. Even though this isn't calibrated, it's telling me that my battery is getting down. Um, this is kind of the things that you don't see a lot of off the grid here. I'm going to put my boots on. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm still in my pajamas. I got Mr. Hilder's shirt on. You know, this is me in the morning. This is, this is starry in the morning. Whoop, here we go. Um... Today's going to be a, another no, no sun, and I'm going to have to turn on the generator, um, and in fact, I've got to go all the way over here. How does he got this hooked up now? There's the propane. Mr. Hilder's not here, so... I don't know, that doesn't look good with the propane tank next to that, so I'm gonna just move this. I know, let's see, this is off. No, it's not off. What's the deal here? Is this the off? Okay. Alright. I'm hoping this generator is still hooked up to the house. We were expecting our um, other generator. Uh, it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, Alright. It's been a while since I started the generator, and only because we haven't had to. Okay. Everything's... Oh, he's got everything backwards here. All right. Great, great, great day. I hope it's hooked up. It's plugged in. All right. Off, on. Okay, if you don't have a generator off the grid, you're um, being foolish. <laughs> like the dog. Uh, you, oh, look at this. Snow load's coming off the roof again. Everybody's uh, uh, snow is, is sliding off. When I went to uh, go help the lady off, up the road who's off the grid, she has a trailer and oh my gosh, the stuff that slid off that roof. I swear if you would have been standing there, you would have been killed. But we'll go inside here now, and we'll see if that... Oh, now I'm locked out. Okay, hang on. It's starting to be a starry day. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what we got here. We'll see if this is doing anything. Restart pending. Charge off. 
What does he have here? Reset. Arresting. I don't know what Mr. Hilder has going on here, but it sounds like we're in charge mode. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'll tell ya. Yep, bulk charging. There we go. There we go. We're in bulk charging. So that now I can turn on the pressure tank for that water. Um, water pump. There we go. I want to get the pressure. Yep. Up to par. Pressure tank. See, it was getting down there. Well, I want to bring that up. Because of that water situation, we just don't know what's going on with that water right now. But we'll get the pressure tank going. And then we should be good. See, all the little stuff of living, living off the grid, I tell you. Oh, oh, and we're having salmon tonight, and I'll show you my secret refrig refrigerator. Right there. <laughs> That's the refrigerator. <laughs> well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Oh, and the other thing I want to mention, too, um, back to doing laundry inside the house with my my scrub board. I do some of my laundry when I go to the gym, just my, my, like when I'm in the shower, I'll take my underwear and my bra and my socks and I'll wash them in the shower at the gym, which is really nice because I have endless hot water. Uh, but I also just got in the mail an, an Eco, you'll see this is brand new, Eco Spin from Avalon Bay. And I'm going to be showing you, friends, how to use that. Uh, this is going to be a great addition to our off-grid laundry. Uh, facility. <laughs> it is. I may do a whole video on it, but uh, that's what we do off the grid here on laundry day. And I'll be bringing in some of my, my buckets too.